Welcome to the 2024 World Crokinole Championship Doubles. We are on game five of the final 12. Ignore that mistake on the scoreboard. These players are fighting for the top two spots in their respective pools to go on to the final two games to crown the World Crokinole Doubles Champion. In this matchup, we have Jeremy Tracy and Andrew Hutchinson versus the Beerling brothers Ray and Jason. Last time these players faced off was in the semi-final round of the 2024 U.S. Open where the Beerlings took a demanding victory over Hutchinson and Tracy. Ray first to miss. Tracy to roll away. They are up a 20, so going immediately on defense. Jason looked like he was pushing to catch a peg. Hutchinson now. Looking at, for the very least, he off. Opposite hit and stick, a very nice spot. Ray has a very thin slice to get a 20. And he gets it. Very nice shot. The Beerling showing why they are so feared in doubles tournaments. Tracy follows suit with an open 20 of his own. Jason catching a peg, not quite strong enough to go back for the 20, although it does look like it was on the right angle. Hutchinson with a very nice touch 20. Getting a 220 lead now in the cup. Beerling with two discs in the 15. They have some work to do to catch up in this first round of game five. Jason looks like he'll be going through his own to hit that black disc. Almost gets a 22, but leaves... A backboard for Hutchinson. Looks like he'll be looking to convert. And he gets it. Now bringing the 20s lead to was three. Even back out to two by Ray. Jeremy happy to keep playing on the outside now. Not wanting to give the Beerlings any opportunity. Jason peels. Hutchinson now for an open 20 opportunity. Gets it. Beerlings now will be hoping for a mistake out of Tracy and Hutchinson, although teams are running out of bullets. Down two 20s now, three 20s. Tracy and Hutchinson not giving the leeway for the Beerlings to get back into this round. Hutchinson seals this round now. Tracy and Hutchinson will go up two to nothing in this game of four rounds. Again, every point matters as this is the final match to decide who will move on to those additional games six and seven for the title of World Crokinole Champion. We see some highlight shots from both teams now as we go into the second round, Ray to open, coming up short, placed nicely between the posts though. Tracy opts to hit from the outside. Again, very defensive. Hutchinson and Tracy do have hammer in this round. Hutchinson dealing with that further outside disc away from Tracy so that he won't have to later. Ray not left with much at all to work with here. An unfortunate misfire coming up short. An invalid shot, his disc is removed. Tracy now, again, happy to touch giving Jason only one disc to work with, perhaps a roll-in opportunity here. Gets play back into the middle. Not quite for the 20, but good to get play back there. Both teams not having a 20 yet, but Hutchinson and Tracy having hammer advantage, lots of discs on the board, and keeping play firmly away from the center are in a very good spot. Players discussing the best way. Looks like they'll be trying to get in. Just deciding the best angle to do that. Ray almost gets the 20 coming up short. See if Tracy decides to bite on that backboard 20 here. Looks like he'll be going for it and he gets it. Hutchinson and Tracy now with the 20 and hammer advantage in a very nice spot. Jason 
going through his own, knocking his own disc into Hutchinson and Tracy's and getting a 20. Very nice shot. At the very least, putting the pressure on. Hutchinson and Tracy are still in a good spot, having the hammer, but Ray and Jason are far from out of this round. Ray trying to work play back to the middle, but Tracy will opt to go for that outside disc, which Jason will have to shoot for. Happy to keep play away from the middle. Looks like Hutchinson will be going for a hit and stick. Ray looking at the angles there. Hard to tell from this side. We'll see if Ray will most likely be trying to at least to pull play closer to the middle so Jason's not stranded. Oh, he gets it in. Looks like that was near a 20 as well. Tracy, happy to catch that peg, get play back on the outside again. Jason with not much more options than to hit and stick. And Hutchinson solidifying their 20 count. Open 20 opportunity, Ray needs this. And goes long, looks like it curved around the 20. Hutchinson and Tracy do have hammer. Up a 20 right now. Don't need to be super aggressive. Tracy doesn't get the off. This could spell trouble. Lots of red on the board right now. Jason can hit and stick. There will be a little bit of pressure on Hutchinson in his final shot. Lots of discs in his way though. Gets the off, not quite able to roll up into the 15. Looks like there is 40 points on the board. And that does it. Up 220s, Hutchinson and Tracy will take the second round of this game, bringing the score to four to zero. Very strong play from both teams up to this point. Beerling's putting on the pressure to make sure Tracy and Hutchinson are bringing their A game to win these rounds. Tracy misses on that initial open 20. Jason happy to keep play away from the center, not giving much for Hutchinson to work with. See what Ray is able to do with this. I'm curious to see, looks like that was more of an offensive shot, rolls away to the far side of the peg zone, turned into defense, or maybe that's what was what he was going for. Hutchinson now. Hutchinson was definitely fighting for that 20. And they are against the hammer. So Hutchinson and Tracy need to either draw a mistake out of the Beerlings or get a 20. Tracy pulling play up just a little bit more. Disc in a bit of an awkward spot in terms of getting away. See what Jason is able to do with this. Very nice. Looks like it'll be tough for Hutchinson to get in. He hides it. Very good. Let's see if Ray can get this. He is able to and lands between the pegs. Tracy now does have an opportunity to play through the pegs. Maybe stay in the 15. Certainly not a gimme though. Unfortunate. Goes a little bit wide. Catches pegs and bounces out. Leaving a 20 opportunity for Jason. Coming up short Hutchinson fighting for that follow through goes long Beerling's two discs on the board now with hammer advantage Beerling's taking their time with each shot most likely to continue playing defensively unless a really nice 20 opportunity arises. Unable to get the off there. Still not a lot for Hutchinson to work for though. Goes for the follow through. A little bit off to the side though and on the wrong side of the 20 backboard opportunity here now for Ray, which he gets. Beerlings are now up in the 20 cup and players down 
to their final shot each. One more time around the circle. Tracy is thinking something. What in the world was that? Tracy, that's not the one you point at the camera for. That was that was not a highlight. <laughs> Looks like Beerlings will be taking this round. Oh, beautiful follow through to finish off the round. See some of these shots from Ray. That nice backboard and this follow through. Unnecessary, but absolutely gorgeous nonetheless. Taking those two points, bring this score to four to two. Players now in the final round. Jason opens with a 20. Hutchinson follows suit. I will say it has been very nice to see this hasn't been a heavy game in the open 20s. Get to see the more strategic side to Crokinole matches. We've seen that on display from some of the best of the best in the game. Jason, the first to miss on those open 20s. We are right back into the strategic play. Perhaps a touch 20 opportunity here for Tracy. Doesn't get it or the off. Unfortunate. Jason content to hit and stick. Looks like Hutchinson will be doing the same. Tracy and Hutchinson do have hammer in this round. They're tied in the 20 cup. So Beerlings have a bit of pressure on them. Looks like Ray was going for an assist. It doesn't look the worst. Tracy unsuccessful on the double. Jason rolls away from the 20. Hutchinson just bringing that disc up in point region. Looks like Ray was going for that touch to tap up his own disc into the 20. Doesn't quite get it. Jason able to carve up into the 15. See, Tracy is saying they just need one off and they'll be good. Almost got a 20 with it as well. Oh, Ray, what a beautiful shot there. Up in the 20s cup now. Tracy and Hutchinson do have a decent amount of discs on the board. Play far on the outside. Jason with a double, very nice. Hutchinson hits and sticks. Oh, and that is time sure on this match. Having ran out of time, having even shots, players don't take the rest of them. And it looks like they will tie that round, bringing the score of this to 5-3. Thank you for tuning in. This was the final match of the preliminary round before the final four games. Stay tuned to see which teams move on to play those additional game six and game seven. Thank you for tuning in to this coverage of the 2024 World Crokinole Championship Doubles. Thank you for watching and make it a great day. Do not leave the playing area. Total up your top five games and then